There's a magic lantern. Oh, wow. Oh, God, blimey, this is heavy, isn't it? Magic lanterns were wildly popular in wealthy households of the Victorian era, projecting pictures onto walls to enthrall and entertain. That's the bit that needs fixing. <laughs> that is the bit. <laughs> Richard Rigby is an expert in these fascinating items, and if anyone can restore it, he can. But to renovate this complex machine fast, Richard's going to need the help of everyone in the repair shop. First in focus, mechanical mastermind, Steve. This is uh, right up your street and not up mine. Go on. This is what we call the flasher. Thank you very much. <laughs> at, some, <laughs> at some stage, it has been replaced by a piece of tin can. You can still see the curve to it. Oh, right, OK. What I'd like to do is take that off and make a, a new circular piece. In brass. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah? Yeah. All right, leave Thanks that with that. me. Thank you. We're going to just try and get it back to its... How it appeared originally, the non-brass parts uh, need blacking. This fits absolutely snugly. There's a hole in the centre there that was for a thread for something, so um, I found an old piece of uh, a, a grandfather clock because I keep old bits and pieces. So I'm just going to turn that up make a nice little plug for the end there and it'll look, all look the part. The big problem was that she hadn't enough light coming through to make it work nicely. We're going to use an yeah. LED. But that. how's that going to be powerful? Well, you wait and see. It's incredibly powerful. This is what we're going to fit. This is made to my own design. So this is going to go inside there? That's going to go inside there. And so then the yeah. LED light bulb goes in there, yeah? Yeah, lantern has always had the very latest light. Right. Doesn't matter when the lantern was built, yeah. a lantern will be the latest available light. That will then go in there through the condenser. Yeah. Through the lantern slide. Yeah. Into the objective lens. Yeah. And then be adjusted to perfection. Well, I'll let you crack on then. Thank oh. you. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, wow. That's going to be perfect. For my little contribution. Oh, you've done it. Oh, oh excellent. There. Now we can really get on. Yes. Now, you did put hole I did. inside to get this down, haven't you? Now you say that. Hold on a minute. Yeah, <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll stick it on there, then. Do you want to put it on? Yeah. Nice bit of needlework there. It is a bit, isn't it? Oh, you're a craftsman. I am a craftsman. It's a historical magic. If you can imagine, before we had the magic lantern. The only pictures the average person would see was either in church or in a big house. And then to suddenly find pictures appearing on walls, a whitewashed walls or a sheet of muslin, it was just magic, and they called it magic. Here it is. Oh, wow. Let's have a look what they've done. Let's have a look, see. Oh, wow. Oh, that's much better than it was. So he's totally oh, polished it up, oh, hasn't look. he? It's got a little velvet curtain. How oh, very sweet. Oh, where's the lantern cover? Oh, he's finished that up nicely, hasn't it? Oh, wow. That oh, bit, that is that dead a bit, serious. A bit more professional than oh, we had last time. Very modern, my goodness me. There you go. Is there something to sit it on? Yeah, it's, well, it's magnetised, so it's, it, it attaches itself oh, to the good bottom. Oh, gracious. This flips up and down properly now. Oh, he's really done a fantastic job. This great. is the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time, there was a boy called Jack. He lived with his widowed mother in a little cottage in the country. I haven't seen anything like that before. I liked it out of 10 out of 10. The giant was huge. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. I saw the magic lantern as a little girl of five. My children saw the, the lantern. I could see the same expression on their faces, and it was just like life ought to be. In a family. Jack and his mother lived happily ever after. Yay. 